Hi Pisces. I'm going to do your reading um, and we'll find out what energies are around you and what you need to know. So let's start by pulling out a, a few of these. Um, these are very tarot. Spirits, what's happening with Pisces? Okay, so we have the Seven of Autumn. Have patience and don't worry. Take time to rest and plan your next steps. A prudent investment of time or money. So don't rush anything right now. Take time and plan your next steps carefully. What's happening with Pisces spirits? And then we have strength, the grace and inner strength needed to overcome challenges, the power of kindness and forgiveness, time to embrace how wonderful you are. So it's time to forgive and have strength. And then we have ego, the illusion of being trapped, placing too much importance on material items, getting caught up in fear and worry. So you're getting caught up in fear and worry. <clears throat> Let me see if you can see those. Okay, so let's go ahead and do your reading. Spirits, what's happening with Pisces? Okay, so I'm seeing there's a great celebration coming in soon, Pisces. This could have something to do with a marriage, but it doesn't have to. But I'm seeing there's something you that you are going to be celebrating be, because... You experienced a loss here that has been making you feel sad, but this energy is changing. What's happening with Pisces? Yeah, that's exactly what they're saying. They're saying this, this energy of feeling sad is ending there's an ending coming to to this and i'm seeing that this is something that you've been waiting for i've got scorpio energy here very strongly yeah this is a wish fulfillment this is something that you've been waiting for you have a wish fulfillment coming in. And then we have the five of, of swords. So we'll put a card behind this and see what it means. But this is, this is someone who's being very cold with their words. And they don't care who they hurt. What's happening with Pisces? Yeah, it's all circled around this sadness right here that could have something to do with your home or a marriage. But I'm seeing there's a decision being made with the King of Swords. This is Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini energy. This is something that you've really had to heal from, Pisces. There was a lot of pain because someone was just really sharp with their words. They could have been very cold and cruel. I'm seeing here that caused a lot of sadness. Okay, why is the Eight of Pentacles here? Okay, so we have Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn energy showing up here now. Um, 
there's something that you've really been working on that's going to bring in a lot of material gain. It's like a wish fulfillment coming in for you. Yeah, it could be something. It's something that you've really been working on and learning. Let's see if you can see that. Yeah. Something that you've really been working on and learning. I have Aquarius energy here with the star. It's a wish fulfillment for you, though. And there's an ending to this pain. See, this is like a really painful, someone really betraying you and stabbing you in the back. This ten swords in the back, that's a lot of pain. And then I see like someone just running away. But I'm seeing this pain is ending and you've been working on your money and working on yourself. You could um, be starting up your own business. Spirits, what's happening with Pisces? Okay. But I've got someone here watching. I'm seeing there, you're going to be getting a message. There's a judgment call being made. And this is something that you're not seeing right now. Let me see if you can see these cards. You're not seeing this right now, but someone's making a judgment call. Someone has a lot of passion for you, and they want a new passionate beginning. This could be a Capricorn energy with the Devil card. But it doesn't have to be. This could be someone um, who put you in a three-party situation. Someone who ghosted you. But I'm seeing this person coming back around again. This person caused a tower in your life. They caused a lot of pain. But they want this new beginning in love with you. They want to enter into this new cycle with you. Okay, so let's clarify the cards. Spirits, what's happening with Pisces? Why is the Four of Wands here? Why is the Four of Wands here? Okay, yeah. I really feel like this was a marriage or something involving the home where there was a lot of pain, there was a lot of heartache with the Three of Swords. Why is the Three of Swords here, Spirits? Yeah, and I have a three again. So I feel like it, this was a marriage where someone put you in a three-party situation, probably. Yeah, and it caused a tower. It caused um, everything to fall down and fall apart, is what they're showing me here. This was a very painful ending for you. Why is the Five of Cups here, Spirits? And then we have the Magician. So someone was being very manipulative in the home. But I, I see here that you've been waiting for your ships to come in. You've been waiting for this wheel of fortune to come in and it's coming in for you there's going to be a huge significant change taking place with the wheel turning 
What is this, spirits? Why is the death card here? Why is the death card here? Okay, so they're showing me that's Virgo energy and the Six of Swords. So someone that has ghosted you, they want to move into calmer water and move towards you, but they're holding back. Why is the Four of Pentacles here, Spirits? Yeah, this person wants to come back and have this great celebration with you. Someone wants to reunite with you. Why is the Three of Wands here? They want equal give and take now. I have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy again. But someone wants equal give and take with you now. But they're holding back. Why is the Nine of Cups here, Spirits? This Nine of Cups, this is... This is someone that you walked away from or they walked away from you. This is someone from your past with the Six of Cups. This is a soulmate. It's like a wish fulfillment. I'm seeing this person coming back. Yeah, if they're hasn't been any communication at all there's going to be com communication with the ace of swords someone wants to talk someone wants to work on this with you why is the five of swords here spirits yeah there's a lot of there's a lot of fast action coming in very quickly fast movement i'm seeing someone texting you messaging you calling you but it's falling underneath this five of swords this is someone who's being very arrogant what is this Eight of Wands, Spirits? Yeah, someone's made a decision. Someone is choosing a new path, and they're choosing to come to you with a message. Why is the King of Swords here, Spirits? I have the Emperor. This is Aries energy. Yeah, so this person wants to take control. They've been carrying a very heavy burden for a long time and they want to put it down. They're ready to put this burden down now. They've been feeling blindfolded and not sure how to come towards you with this communication they're they're not sure how to do this but they've made up their mind they want to take control they want to they want to come towards you why is the four of swords here spirits yeah so i've got you healing and entering into a brand new cycle i've got a messenger here again this is probably someone who's younger than you 
Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo. Could be one of those signs. But they're coming with a message and they want to enter into a new cycle with you. But it's going to take a lot of courage because they caused a tower in your life. They caused you a lot of pain. <clears throat> this person's feeling a lot of regret, Pisces. They're, they're only focused on what was lost. They can't look around and see what's behind them. The Two of Cups is right behind them, and they don't see it. They're just focused on what was lost, and um, they want a new beginning in love with you. This is Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. Why is the King of Pentacles here of Spirits? This King of Pentacles... Um, they're at a crossroads in their life and they're trying to make a decision they want this ten of cups with you this is complete emotional happiness fulfillment they want this with you but they're they are putting the past behind them and looking out into the future and they're trying to make plans and with them being in this king of wands energy they are um this is someone who doesn't like to take no for an answer this is someone who will go through these people there's people here that are not happy about about um, this person coming but the king of wands goes after what he wants okay so I'm seeing this hierophant as being you why is the hierophant here spirits yeah I've got the exact same cards again here This is someone who is ready to leave the past behind them and come towards you with a message. This is a messenger coming towards you. and um, But this person in the past, they were really arrogant. They didn't care who they hurt. And... They said whatever they wanted to say. They didn't care. They caused a tower. Why is the star here, spirits? Spirits, why is the star here? And you, I'm seeing here that you have healed with the star card and you've like started a new beginning um and so this is going to leave you feeling blindfolded and because you really do love this person you have a lot of love for this person but i'm seeing you feeling blindfolded and unable to make a decision again i've got um aquarius libra gemini energy here showing up this person's made a decision but you're feeling like oh i don't know and then you clarify this ten of swords um this person more than likely did all this damage puts you in a three-party situation, caused the tower to happen, and then 
refuse to your cup. Like you, I'm seeing you here offering this person this cup of love and they, they don't want it. So this person refused your cup of love after everything they did. But I'm seeing you, you are like waiting for your ships to come in here. You put an end to this pain. Why is the Knight of Wands here, spirits? This Knight of Wands, this is someone who has a lot of passion for you. And um, they are a lot of fun. They're very nice looking. This person's going to be rushing in with a message. They, they're making a judgment call right now. Um, they're feeling like they're really going within and probably spending time alone. They could have ghosted you, but they're feeling like their hands are tied, like they're blindfolded and stuck right now trying to figure out how to come towards you. Wise judgment here, spirits. Yeah, the lovers. You're going to be left making a choice. Somebody is coming back. Someone's making a judgment call, Pisces. And I really feel like this has got something to do with a marriage. But this is someone that you love. Even though they caused this tower and everything. Yeah, they're coming with a message. Be prepared. There's some, someone's going to be showing up with a message. And I feel like this is going to make you very happy. We started this reading with the Three of Swords and the Tower. And we're ending it with the Sun. So the Sun's coming in. Everything's going to be illuminated. This is the happiest card in the in the tarot deck. You're going to be very happy. Yeah, they're showing me here that this person is making making plans already as to how to approach you. And they could be at a distance from you. I'm seeing him looking at a map. Yeah, it was, there was an ending, but the sun is coming in. Someone's um, putting, wanting to put the past behind them. They're looking out into the future and um, they want to move into calmer water. They're, this person's moving maybe at night or, or something like that. Okay. So that was a pretty interesting reading. Let me just shuffle these three times. happening with Pisces. What does Pisces need to know, spirits? What's happening with Pisces? Okay, express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. And we have children. Your love life is being affected by children. Okay. 
and they're telling you very soon, clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. Yep, you got a decision coming up. Pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. So, they're telling you to have strength and pay attention to the red flags because the signs are cautioning you. Have patience and don't worry. Take time to rest and plan your next steps. A prudent investment of time or money. And this ego, the illusion of being trapped, placing too much importance on material items, getting caught up in fear and worry. Okay, so those are the messages that spirits have for you, Pisces. I hope that they help and bring you some clarity. And um, I will talk to you later. I send you lots of love and light. Thank you so much for subscribing and liking. And um, please leave me a comment and let me know if this resonated with you. And I'll talk to you later, Pisces. Bye-bye.